Okay, a quick video going through emission and absorption spectra. Well, if we consider this scenario first of all, we've got a, a black body emitter. Now, I know we don't need, you don't need to know this for unit two, but a black body emitter is just something that emits all frequencies of EM radiation. Stars are really good models of black body emitters. Okay, so they, they, there's, there are no gaps at all. If I've got observer A and observer B, observer A is looking directly at that black body emitter, and observer B is looking is not looking at it at all, can't see it, is looking out into space, so he's not looking at the source. Well, what do they see? And those triangles with the dots, by the way, indicate eyes. Okay, the first person, observer A, well, they get all the colors of the rainbow, all the frequencies of the EM radiation, so they see everything. They see a full spectrum of every single thing, because every single photon hits them straight in the eyes. Observer B, well, no photons hit the observer B in the eye, so they see nothing. So to them, the entire image is black. They can't see anything at all. Absence of light, remember, is black. Right, now, if we change it slightly, we put a cloud of unknown gas in the middle. So observer B is now looking, now looking at the cloud. Sorry, I should say now, not, not looking at the cloud. Observer B is looking at the cloud, and observer A is looking through the cloud. So it's looking at the black body emitter still, but this time the cloud's in the way. Well, how does this change things? Well, the black body emitter throws out all its light, all its radiation of all frequencies, but now that cloud of unknown gas is stealing uh, the green and the purple. So it's stealing some of the photons because the electrons are getting excited by those particular frequencies, those particular colors uh, of, of light, which means observer A, well, they don't get any green or purple. So they have gaps in their rainbow, in their spectrum. They don't have any green and purple. Um, so this gives them some information about what that gas is made, what that gas contains. Okay, so that's called a, 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 a absorption spectra because the gas is absorbing certain colors and not letting them through. So observer B is now looking at the cloud. Well, that cloud has grabbed some green and purple photons, and those electrons have got excited, gone up their energy levels, and they're dropping back down. And they have to get rid of all the energy they've got. So they, and the only way they can get rid of it as, is as photons. So what they do is they re-emit green and purple, but they are throwing them out in all different directions, uh, and some of them will hit observer B directly, which means observer B, actually, now that cloud to them has got green and purple light. So what they see is predominantly, if they were to look at the rainbow, predominantly black, so nothing, they don't get any red, orange, yellow, predominantly black, but they do get a few colored lines, in green and purple. Now what that looks like, this is called, by the way, an, an emission spectra, because that cloud is emitting those colors. What that looks like is this. So the very top one there, the continuous spectrum, that's the black body emitter. That's the kind of perfect emitter, everything, no gaps at all. The one underneath is what observer B would have seen, the emission spectra, mainly black uh, with some very, obviously some photons uh, present there. So this particular, this is hydrogen. Hydrogen only emits, only is able to grab and throw out those particular colors. And the one at the bottom is the absorption spectra, which is the black body emitter, but seen through that gas. So again, hydrogen is able to steal those certain colors where the black lines are, that's the photons that hydrogen likes. It steals them, it takes them in, absorbs them, and then throws them out uh, in the emission spectra above. Okay, so that's emission spectra and absorption spectra. I hope that helped.